What's up guys, the Merry Gamer here, and welcome back to City Skylines. It's been a while since I've played this game. I do have to say sorry for the delay last week and that there was no content. Um, I was actually quite ill. I actually um, have had a cold for about a week and a half, close to two weeks, and there was a period of time where I actually lost my voice. I actually got quite a bad... Uh, chest infection, I was coughing quite a lot, and um, it ended up making me lose my voice, unfortunately. So I couldn't do any recordings. Um, but here we are, we're back at the good old Royal Tunbridge Wells. Last time, wow, that was very loud. I'm going to turn that down a tiny bit. You're going to see the volume thing show up, but that's okay. Uh, so, last time we are working on the Royal Tunbridge Wells CBD, the Central Business District, and then we had this other district starting up. We've also got this, oh wow, there's a lot of fires. Why are there so many fires? I'm pretty sure they have like a fire department, don't they? If I do this... Yeah, they do. There's like three firehouses. How are you guys having fires? <laughs> wow. Oh, they work with wood, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, um... In today's episode, I'm actually going to try and record all of uh, City Skylines uh, in one big hit. Normally, I kind of do it in like 20 to 25 minute segments and break it up. Um, I'm going to just record in one big hit and um, just split it up like that because um, I do have a few things to do today. So, I need to kind of get this done so I can get it edited and uploaded for you guys for this week. But um, I really want to push residential, residential, residential. It's a massive issue we're having. We kind of can't really get the residential demand we're just like I'm gonna hit this and fast forward and um, we kind of can't we can't get it to climb fast enough I really want it to climb faster but we can't get it to climb faster we do have a bit of residential demand I really want to fill in this residential area before we do it so um, we're gonna go into the zoning and what we're gonna do is we're gonna resident here 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 and here and see, there's a bit of commercial demand. I'm actually going to move a bit of commercial just down here. Just like light commercial, not heavy commercial. Just some um, normal level commercial, uh, like the low density stuff. Because I want to have it so some of these little residential areas actually have their own shopping. You know, like um, we don't want it so all the shops are only in uh, the CBD. So Because we go district here. We've got a district here, which is the big Royal Tunbridge Wells CBD. We've got this district here, which um, doesn't have a name. I actually have a feeling it's connected. Why do I have a feeling it's connected? If I erase here. Yeah, there we go. So what, what's your... Okay, there we go. Now he's his own separate district. It was actually connected a tiny bit then. Uh, we got another one up here. We got the Royal Burrows up here. We kind of need to expand it a tiny bit over this way as well today. I wouldn't mind looking into doing that. But again, we, we, we can't get that residential demand. Like, we're hitting that 24... Like, we've got 24,000 people. That's still pretty damn good. But um, we're just not getting that demand that I was hoping for, you know. I really... Like, I want all this filled in, all this. So I need. I want to start building up over here as well. Like, this is all going to turn residential. And don't forget, this area here, this is real high density. And that might be our mistake that we made with this island, is that it's all high-rise. So, there's a lot of people just in this area. And uh, that's probably where the why there's not that much residential demand, is that a lot of them are probably still going in this, because there's still spaces. So, uh, that's probably where the issue is slightly coming from. But um, I just really want to try and push residential and start designing a few things as well. We're going to start designing a lot of our town uh, and get a few things pushed. Now, I don't know what this building is here. Oh, no, I don't want to pause. I want you. What are you? So, you're a small park. Um, okay, that's okay that you're a small park. What, what was stopping me from expanding here? Because there's a reason why I couldn't expand this road. And I think it's a school, I think it is. I think it's this thing here. Yes, there was an elementary school that was stopping me from expanding. So let's have a look at our education. Elementary is really, really good at the moment. So we actually probably could demolish you because we don't really need you. Yes, I do wish to proceed. I know it's going to make all you un ah, like all upset, but I needed to do that because we're going to have to put in a road right here. Just so we can put that road back in. So then they have that. We can put the school back on that corner. But we also need to upgrade these roads as well. Because um, this area is very 
Like, uh, if we go traffic, I bet the traffic would be pretty horrendous. So that's something that we need to do as well, because we're slowly upgrading, like, all these areas down here. They're all good. They're all upgraded. They're all wide roads. It's all the old area. And then I think, um, see, all up in here, that's all upgraded. We need to upgrade all down in here. And then we still need to upgrade a tiny bit of the edges as well. So we've still got a lot of upgrading to do, a lot of things to, to fix, really. Um, there's still a big... Uh, commercial demand is high. What is this building talking about? What's this blue thing? I want to know what this blue thing is. Not enough goods to sell. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> I really don't know how to fix that. Um, how's that? Okay, so our power is kind of on the borderline of... Ooh, we could look at high power flow, um, so flowing water is an infinite source of kinetic power, that's true. Find a strong current in a river and build a dam across this source to, uh, of clean electricity. Can we do that anywhere yet? No, we don't really own anywhere. Like, we could kind of do it here. Like, this, the water is flowing this way, so we could actually have a dam. But I don't think so that would work in that area. Uh, ideally, you'd want it like up here, like where that bridge is. So, but we don't, we can't afford to buy a tile just yet. And then we got solar power plant, so that would be pretty good. Uh, harness the power of the sun and convert it into clean energy. Solar power plant is green choice, but costs a lot. So upkeep is twelve hundred. What are these guys upkeep? They're two hundred. Okay, and what's this one's upkeep? Okay, that one has a high upkeep, so that's actually probably the most expensive. Then we have oil processing, and then that's coal, so um, we could look into some solar. How's our water doing? Our water's not too bad. Our garbage is doing okay, I believe. We don't really have coverage that much in here. <coughs> um, that's the incineration plant. We've got this going. Uh, that's our transport, so we've only got... Um, so yeah, we have Metro, which travels a lot. Then we have Train, but Train isn't big, though, um, because the Train is only here, and those guys up here. We need to get a few more Train connections in to the city uh, for these people. So we have one over here. We probably need to get another one down here, another one over here, another one over here. Probably another one up here as well. So we kind of need to look at doing the, uh, the, train, the train system a bit better. Uh, in the future. Uh, how far are we up from upgrading? Because what do we get? So this is the next one we get a new area, we get ships. So I kind of want to get the new area. Uh, that's what I'm really am pushing for. Uh, I really want that to go so um, we can get some ships. Uh, our next tile, I'm not sure where we're going to purchase our next tile. Um, I'm, I'm, I was debating up here, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really not sure where um, okay, there's no recreation down in these areas, so we're going to make these guys happy. Um, so let's do that now. So let's get like a little park, maybe here. I think that's a cemetery, so I'll put a park next to a cemetery. Um, let's grab maybe a little plaza picnic area. Let's put that maybe over here. Um, you know, let's move it across a tiny bit. Let's do it like there. Uh, let's grab like a large park or something and put him in the middle there. Just something simple. Uh, we still need to get a few more things. Let's get another park and put that uh, here. Uh, we need another one. Something up in this area here. So let's grab you. Uh, that's probably a bit too big. Let's get this maybe something a bit smaller. And let's place him there. That'll make those people happy. So we probably need another little thing up here, I guess. It's probably... The one thing we're after, I probably can get rid of that because I don't need that power link anymore because they're linked over here. So that's making all those people happy. Um, you probably need to add some sort of recreational area. Oh, but this is CBD, but still, you need, you need, you do need some sort of leisure in these areas. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two botanical gardens in these areas right here, and they're going to make those guys real happy real quickly, so that's going to work out pretty well for us. The residential demand is coming back a tiny bit, so let's uh, rezone in some more residential in these areas, and uh, let's get this going for us. 
So we'll do that. We get, we'll just get all this done. So then we have this whole Oriental Park sorted out. All the residents will be happy. We'll get that district done. So then uh, the demand is there. We're still getting a decent amount of people. Like we're getting 50, 30, then 37, then 33. So it's not too bad than 49. So it's averaging, but we're still, we're still I think, what was the limit? Was it 30,000 we needed? No, 28,000. So we're almost at the next achievement. And that's what we're really trying to aim for as well. Um... Uh, these guys here are commercial, so all this is um, he like heavy dense commercial, then offices go around the edge. There is that industrial demand, so I'm okay with that actually, because these guys take up the industrial demand as well, because um, I don't mind filling in this a tiny bit. Let's just do like that, and then that will hopefully fill up the industrial demand, because it is lingering there a tiny bit. Uh, but then we need to look at upgrading all these roads. We need to kind of fill in this area. This is a bit of a wasted space of power. Um, we don't really need this connection here anymore because when you look at the power, they're up there. They're linked up there, which still loops around. So we probably can... Um, there we go. If I can just highlight you. I can just do this because we don't need this connected anymore. Let's get rid of those, because the way the power links, it links up here, so we're not too worried about that now. So that's all that happening. How's the residents? The residents are kind of already moved in, which is good. The officers are making their way down, which is great. Um, so let's get more of these officers in here. Um, they're slowly building, so we can just kind of fill in. Oh yeah, these guys are kind of cut off because of that power there, but that's okay. We can get these guys here because they'll get power from down there as well so that's good that's also good uh, then this will turn into heavy density um, commercial because um, we don't really need much we, it's nice to see that we're getting some skyscrapers though here we're starting to get like you know this is I know this is like a commercial building um, but it's good to see that we're starting to get some really nice tall buildings. Like, it's slowly upgrading itself, which is great. Our money flow is fantastic. Like, I cannot argue with our money flow. You know, we're sitting here with over 2 million. We're really not going to spend that sort of money. Um, I don't think so I can spend it fast enough, really, to be honest. Uh, so let's, um, the commercial demand is there. So let's just zone in a tiny bit. So let's just go you and you. Just to make them happy. And, um maybe here and here and then we can put some more leisure uh, on those corners so let's um maybe do like a park or something we can do like a park here and a park here to make these guys happy they need water so apparently they don't have a pipe so we can do that we can grab a pipe here and just go straight across exactly how they need it so I want it to snap straight would be nice, but it's not really snapping for me. So it's going to be more of a judgment game, so we'll do that. And that will give those officers water, which will make them happy. Um, so the commercial demand is obviously much lower again, just because the fact that we've put in high-density commercial, and they'll fill in over time. The residential demand is climbing in, but the industrial... We have such a big industrial demand in our city, it's, it's, um, it's quite ridiculous, actually. Um, these guys don't have power or anything like that in this area, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to... If I zone that as residential there, and then if I zone this as residential here, they should be able to grab power from each other, and I should be able to bring uh, the power down for these guys. So we're going to zone in this as the new residential area. Residents probably won't be... Oh, maybe. We could probably put residential along there. It's not too bad. We could actually make some small little roads that kind of bend in here and put a bit more residents in there. It's similar to what we have to do here. We might put some small little lanes and stuff in here just to fill it up a bit to make it not look so bare and so empty uh, because um, that's the key thing. We need to kind of fill up the area. So how's our power doing now? Our power's creeping down a bit. we got a lot of those guys going. I would really like to put in a dam or something. Um, we could put in... Wonder, does this have to be by a road? It does have to be by a road. Um, 80,000 as well. I wonder if I could do something here. 
Uh, these guys just have the simple roads, don't they? So if I go like a straight road to here and just bring this guy down a tiny bit to here, um, we might be able to put in some new power because I wouldn't mind having some solar power up in this area here. Must be placed roadside. It is placed roadside. There we go. So if I put you here, how much pow how much power does this produce? Um, 160 megawatts. And how many do these produce? Zero to tw wow. Okay, wow. So that's a big power jump, and uh, that's like heavy wind as well. So it doesn't really matter for here. But yeah. Um, this is something that we need to do. Uh, can I get you to clip onto this grid? I really would like that. Thank you. So if I get like a solar power plant right there. Um, do they? And that is getting power. So our energy just went through the roof. So let's, you know what? I know they cost 80,000. Can I not get another one of these on this road? Yes, I can. Um, I know they cost eighty thousand, but let's put up. A, put a, let's put another one. You know, we, we've got we've got the power, we've got the energy. You know, we've got we've got that the resources to do that. So we've got some big solar power plants up here, um, and they could eventually maybe replace these. We might not need these eventually anymore because um, since we've got better access to power and uh, more efficient power, it might be better to do that. Uh, the, res the commercial demand is ridiculous. I can't get over how, like, the commercial demand for this area uh, is. Um, it's like we're getting more of a commercial and industrial demand than a residential demand. Than so it's um, it's a bit it's a bit bizarre. It is a bit odd. Um, we haven't unlocked monuments yet. We need 65,000 people. I really want to get to the monuments because that's where it's going to get fun. Uh, let's have a look at some unique buildings. Um, is there anything cool? We still haven't put in one of you. The transport tower. That'd be pretty cool to put in. Why don't we put like a transport tower in like right the center of the city. Um, yeah, if we put it like there. Yeah, let's put like transport tower there. So we've got a big old skyscraper right in the center of the city. Kind of makes it look a bit more dominating, a bit more like actual city than anything. Our little town is not a uh, little anymore. Yes, indeed, we're growing at a nice rate this time. Oh, there is a fire. There are two fires. How's fire in this area? They have coverage, but they don't really have any stations. So let's put like a firehouse. Like just in here somewhere. Yeah, let's put like you there. Let's, let's have a look at police. Oh, that, that was, um, yeah, that was fire. Let's have a look at police. Uh, you know what? Let's put like the same thing. Let's do like a police station just here, just to give them some coverage. You know, you never know. Uh, we can go down in this area here and put like a police house on the corner here, and do the same with a firehouse. Um, just a small one. It's all they need in this area, probably. I hope uh, they don't have power. They'll eventually will get power. <coughs> And um, see, the residents will eventually kind of like linger down because when you look at the power, it's um, it's there, it's there. Uh, but this is what we want to be filling in is this area here, and then we can kind of do that. We'll put um, commercial, maybe like in these little bits here or something for these guys, um, just to make it a bit nice and a bit more simple. How's water? Uh, do, do this is does yeah that area does have water coverage besides up here? Yes. Up there needs a bit more an extension, so let's go up to there, and then let's do the same up here. Let's just cover this road, so then we actually actually have cover for the area. So let's do that there. All right, there we go. So how is our okay? So our money, we're still 1.9 mil. Uh, we got 27,000. We're getting close to that 28,000 mark, but that's going to be at the end of this episode, guys. I'm splitting up into 20-minute episodes. I've got my time on the side, so that's going to be it. I'm going to continue recording, though, so I will see you guys in a little bit. So, as usual, thank you all for watching. Hope you all have an awesome day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. So, catch you later, guys.